Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I got this parcel today and I just could not work out what it was. And I'm thinking, where did I order this from? It's got my name on it and I don't remember this. Um, obviously that was before I opened it. Uh, so I had a quick look inside and I thought, oh, so it's an item from uh, that I ordered from a shop on AliExpress. I'll put the links down below. Uh, it was an expensive item as well, but I thought, well, it's new out and I want to have a look at it. Uh, I ordered this on the 27th of September and it arrived today, which is the 10th of October. So what's that? About two weeks, 14 days, roughly. So roughly two weeks it's taken to come. Um, I was expecting it, but I didn't expect it to come like this. So I'm quite interested to have a look at this because I don't like to have a look at the new things. So let's get it out and have a look and see what we got. Oh, it's all in bubble wrap as well. So it's come in a bubble mailer and then it's in bubble wrap. Okay, so that's always a really good sign because I do think sometimes when uh, things get sent through in just the plastic bags, they can be a little bit iffy. So, oh, and it's in a cardboard box as well. So let me grab my scissors and we'll get into this. You might just have a little sneak peek of what we actually have uh, over there. Just peeking through. So, oh, bubble wrap as well. Yay, I like to keep the bubble wrap. I put all my uh, glass Christmas tree toys away in the bubble wrap that I get from packages. Yeah, I don't like to buy anything. <laughs> I'm very cheap. <laughs> so oh, that's a good piece of bubble wrap. Nice. It's a strong piece as well. So yeah, I've uh, been seeing these around and they're these diamond painting trays. Now obviously it's not going to be any bigger than that. So it is only a very small tray. So you're not going to get a big dinner plate on there. But I did think well, it might be quite handy it might be handy for crafting diamond painting anything like that and it was new this one was 15 pounds and four pence and then with taxes and delivery all together it's cost me 25 pounds 78 <gasps> i didn't get any money off it and there was no coupons and wow that's quite eye-watering but uh, looking at this uh, delivery note that i've got um when I placed the order, I placed it at 1.24 a.m. in the morning. So it was obviously a late night purchase, one of those where I couldn't sleep. And uh, you know how we start flicking through. You should never go shopping late on a night on any websites, because uh, yeah, it's always fatal. And uh, yes, yeah, so I ended up spending 25 pound, nearly 26 pound. But hey ho, let's hope it's worth it. Oh, well, I like the picture for starters. Okay, there's lots and lots of different designs. A lot of the budget companies are actually selling these as well. Uh, probably, well, they are a lot cheaper than £25. I think they're around about the £15, £16 pound mark. Um, and if you bump your order up with other things, you probably get your free shipping as well. So I could have always waited, but I thought, well, I'm going to get one when I see it. So I got the parrot one with the flowers and the clock in the background because that just appealed to me. So there's lots of different designs of them. Oh, and it's all pre-bagged. Wow. So let us have a look. It's quite heavy as well. And uh, I do find that quite often heavy means good quality. Fingers crossed. So, oh pen boat wax and we've got a little a uh, few grip seal bags there as well uh, oh yeah look all pre-bagged so it's good to go so you don't even need a pair of scissors you can just crack on and get this one done right all oh, right so oh oh so that's all sealed up there i guess that's like the standard kit then um so that's all bagged up um, sort of like well it's vacuum sealed so that's sort of the standard kit and then they just add the slight hard board and um, that's been cut out with the design popped on the top so that's your little parrot design but i do like that i think that's really really pretty and hello billy if you're still watching me uh, i do have a parrot called billy that watches me apparently he copies my laugh oh dear i do feel sorry for the lady that owns him <laughs> But yeah, 
So we'll call that one Billy, I think, after Billy the Parrot. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I will just open this packet and we'll have a look at the bits and see how easy it is to put together. Looking at it, it looks fairly straightforward to be fair. So it's not a big tray. Uh, for the money, I could probably have gone out and bought a big tray, but I wouldn't have had the pleasure of actually sort of hand making it as it were. Well, sort of hand making it. I mean, you're putting the gems on that, you are uh, crafting it a little bit. Okay, so we've got our two ends. Uh, nice little handles, not very big actually. Uh, I've got quite big hands and quite big fingers, and this one here, look, is exceptionally rough along this edge here. So that's a little bit naughty. Um, actually, if you put some sealer or something on there, or just get an emery board uh, or a nail file, just file it off. But yeah, that's not very good because you're going to be picking your tray up. You don't want rough edges and you don't want to be getting uh, little splinters in your fingers. We've also got some little splinters here as well. So mm, finishing off, not brilliant, but OK. And then we've got our two. Let me just move this out the way. Sit over there, Billy. Thank you. We've got our two little end bits there as well. Right, so we've got two like tram lines. Oh, again, no instructions, so it's going to be quite um, fun to do. We've got our little screwdriver and lots of little screws to put it together. Okay, I think you can. Sorry about the glare. There you are see the little screws in the packet i do like these little screwdrivers i've got one in my handbag one in the drawer downstairs one in my desk drawer upstairs uh, from all the projects that i've been doing so have we got enough screws there hope so two two four six eight nine one two three four five six seven eight oh we've got nine screws so what have we got two four six oh so we've got one spare so you only need eight okay so there's no holes there there's no guide holes there that's gonna pop in there and then you put in the screws in i suppose you could use wood glue or something um but yeah the screws there's no screw covers either so let's just roughly put this like this and then we've got this like acrylic piece which has got uh, I see what they're doing right so it has got a cover on both sides so that will be an acrylic sheet that will be completely clear so I'm guessing that you're going to slide, well, pop that one in there. Oh, it doesn't slide, so you're going to have to put it in there. Oops, there. Obviously do it before. Oh, I suppose you could, no, you'd have to do it first. And there. not wanting to go in come on don't be playing me up it's been an awkward little parrot and then that one will then just oh no you've got to then put and, and this will be clear and that will go like the centimeter above it so yeah that will go above which i'm not going to take the covers off at the moment until i've done it so you'll have your design on the bottom and then you'll have a clear acrylic on the top yeah, because that's got the wooden bottom. You wouldn't want the clear acrylic on the bottom. Um, and then that's your design. That's how it's all going to go together. So, yeah, I quite like this. It's quite something a bit different. I do think it was very expensive. Um, I don't think it's brilliantly finished off. But I can rectify that. Um, I like the scalloped edges on the top. I think that... Uh, just adds to the design as well and having this over the top the clear means that you don't 
I mean, if you don't want to, you don't have to seal this underneath because there's going to be no heat um, and nothing actually touching this because you're going to be that, it is about a centimetre here that it's going to be above your little parrot there. So that's going to take a lot of the like uh, heat or cold away from your actual design. Hmm, okay, let's have a few measurements then and see where we are with regards to size. So the tray overall is 30 centimetres, which is 12 inches by 20 centimetres. So it's 20 by 30. So it's 12 by 8 inches. OK. And then the design is just slightly smaller as it fits into the tray. So you do need to put the screws in to keep it together. I would suggest maybe just using um, a poker oh. tool or um, a mini screwdriver or something just to make a hole in this part. Oops, let's just take that out there. To make a hole or a guide hole in this part just so that it's not quite so tight to get your screw into there as you're doing it but yeah on the whole i think this is nice i don't think it's uh, quite a high price um but it's lovely again nice presents for people um not great i mean you could eat a small sort of side plate you could eat a side plate you could eat from a side plate <laughs> Oh, you know what I mean. Um, you know, you would get, what did we say that was? About eight inches. So, yeah, you certainly wouldn't get a dinner plate on this. Yeah, it's about the actual, so the bottom of the tray is about 19 and a half centimetres. Um, seven and three quarter inches so you're looking at probably a six or seven inch side plate would fit on here if you're wanting to eat off it you could get a drink on it uh, and you could certainly get a cake on it get a cake bowl <gasps> with your pudding <laughs> so they would fit on there but again you can use it for crafting um, and once I get it done I will let you see it and we'll have a go at uh, maybe putting some plates or something on it I'm all a bit skew with aren't I I'm not straight what's going on here then i must have my camera at an angle i must have caught it when i was uh, doing my videos right let's have a look at these gems and see what we've got in here so there's a lot of colors i must admit it, it is a full coverage as well um although it's crystals it's full coverage and they're all in straight lines and um, we do have a couple of little specials just added in but uh, yeah i would call this um a full diamond painting because everything is practically covered uh, so yeah so oh it's 24 different gems and colors so we will start off with actually well, let's put that on the top there number 24 oh, look it <laughs> no no i am not going to put googly eyes on uh, billy on the parrot no um i will just put a black gem i've got plenty of spare black gems and i will use that because i don't want him having googly eyes i think that will make a really pretty picture and uh, a very beautiful parrot uh, into a little bit of a comedy and i don't want to do that it's entirely up to you there's nothing wrong with using them but uh, even me with my little quirky bits and pieces i don't want him having a googly eye <laughs> we've got some uh, little teardrops in red We've got some gold with the silver backing of your little marquees. And then it looks like everything else is just crystal. So we've got a bright orange and a deep gold. And some of these are the wrong way around. And the bags have got numbers on as well. Yay! Put it this way so we can put them this down this way. Look. So we've got the gold and a lovely bright green and a turquoisey blue. There's certainly plenty of the crystals in these bags and a pale, oh, <laughs> escaping pale lilac -y lavender colour and a little bit of a peachy colour there. Lots of your 310 black and then that's like another orangey peachy colour and a bright orange. So it's got a really good colour palette, a dark blue 
and a little bit paler blue and a sort of turquoisey, nearly turquoisey blue. Ooh, a lovely jadey green and a nice dark green and a mid green and a very light fresh green and your lemony colour and a little bit of pale pink and a lovely a bright red and then your dark red and an even darker red wow look at those so that is a spectacular color palette Let's see if i can oh look just throw them all over liz after you've just had them all in order oh dear. whoever said i was a professional i'm not <laughs> no nobody's ever said that about me so yeah great color look at that like a rainbow of colors all the way through there wonderful so let's now see if i can get them back in the packet without throwing them everywhere googly eyes i wonder why they decided to put googly eyes on it very strange Okay, well, this is going to be uh, a little bit of fun to do. Actually, I'll probably put it together on camera. Um, I'll get it diamond painted and then uh, we'll do a little DIY video. I've done a few before. They usually end up quite fun because I'm not always uh, wholly sure what I'm actually doing. But anyway, we'll give it a go. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, just a very, very quick video to show you uh, what I've been up to. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, You'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything yay and a shout out to sue bailey um i've not heard from you about your prize win so sue if you're watching um if you can just give me an email or an instagram message or a facebook message uh, and get in touch because yeah i'm still waiting for you to claim your prize okay well thank you ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now